Hi everyone, I'm Kay. Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Well, I just had a bit of a disastrous um, pour where everything kind of went wrong, uh, which can happen and will happen to um, me and everyone else at some point. So as you can see, what I've done is I've had my, got my trowel and I've just wiped it all over. The colours have just went round and um, spread them all out. Now I've got this lovely purpley grey look with a bit of gold coming through. So what I'm going to do now is I am just going to do a um, bloom in the middle and I might do some around the edge. We'll just see how we go. But with this lovely, um, I'm actually really liking this colour that I've ended up with by mixing all these colours together. So um, we'll see how we go. This is actually a placemat from Kmart which costs $3. It's got a cork backing on it. And I've covered that with um, paper and some tape just around the edges to keep the back nice. And um, the rest of it was just ready to go because it was a placemat. It already had like a good surface on it. So I just cleaned that with the um, isopropyl alcohol. All right, so the colors will be in the description box below. So here we go. First of all, I'm going to use the Global Fuchsia. Now, where's my centre? Mm, around there, I think. The turntable today doesn't seem to be um, very well balanced and it's letting the colours run to one side, so um, I don't think it matters too much if I'm right in the centre. It's probably better if you're not right in the centre anyway. Okay, so that purple was the Global Purple. This is Araldo Rose. And I'm not putting these in any particular order. Global Warm Blue. And this is the Araldo Mintish. And now I'm going to put some of the Montmartre Pouring Paint Gold, which I really like in most of my pores. And I'm going to use the Global Black Cell Activator, which has been mixed with Floetrol. All of my colours are being mixed with Floetrol um, as the pouring medium. And the cell activator is also mixed with Floetrol. The paints are approximately one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And the cell activator, approximately one part paint to four parts Floetrol. And I say approximate because it's all about the consistency. Okay, now I'm actually going to use my uh, hair dryer, I think, to blow this out because it's quite big, so it won't be a moment. Just bought this new small hair dryer, um, which doesn't actually blow that well, but I'm just going to give it a go now. Like I said, it doesn't blow out very well, so I'll blow the rest of that out by mouth. That's better. Okay. So that's quite pretty interesting cell action. And now I'll just create some shape by just using the pointy end of my bamboo chopstick. Just find where you feel is a natural line where you've blown out and I try not to disturb any nice cells too much either okay so now I'm just going to do a small balloon smash just to um because it hasn't got a very nice black center in this one Thank you to the hairdryer that didn't blow out very well. 
There we go. And that will look really pretty. Just cleaning the balloon off between smashes, just so it doesn't go too muddy. Oh, that's actually a really pretty bloom there now on this interesting background. So now I'll just do some more blooms the same around the edges. I think that's quite pretty with that um, background actually. Almost looks like a ring pour, and it wasn't. So now we'll just draw some shape into these um, blooms and just get that little bit of splatter out of there. Right. Right, so from a disaster to not too bad. I actually quite like that. <laughs> um, so what do you think, guys? Do you like it or not? Well, I'll bring you down for a close-up, but some of these blooms are absolutely gorgeous. The um, colour combination um, is just lovely. And the cell activity in the centre, I'm not going to do balloon smashes in those because I'm just loving the way they are. Um, so... Yeah, I think that'll make a lovely um, table centerpiece. So I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are, back with our big placemat. So from disaster to not too bad at all. I'm really look, loving some of these blooms. That's the center one. And then some of these little ones are just lovely with their little black centers and all those lovely cells. And I think where I've um, just spread that base around from the previous pour, which didn't work out, it actually looks great as a background to these. Just in my opinion, of course. So there we have it. Okay, so I'd love to know what you think about it too, guys. Um, so if you'd like to um, give me a like if you do like it and um, 
I'll see you guys back here at Studio 33 in the not too distant future. And as usual, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd much appreciate the support. And um, we'll see you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.